Hi, buddy. Hi, baby. Hey, it's Evan Brand, Certified Functional Medicine Practitioner. I wanted to talk to you today about rumination. Now, obviously, I didn't have to come out into the freezing cold to talk to you about this, but nature has something very special to offer. Let's go back in time, whether that was 10 or 20 or 30,000 years ago, when we were out in the woods, we would have been searching for our nuts and berries and our meats for the day, right? The women would have been hanging out together. There would have been lots of social interaction. There would have been lots of sunshine. We would have had more adequate amounts of good quality. Obviously, everything was organic and grass-fed at this, at this period in time. And now we pop open the fridge and now we're so able to grab anything we want. We don't have to actually work for it. So what that's done is that's allowed us more free time to actually sit on the computer, scroll on Facebook. There's a lot of ways that we ruminate in the modern world and it really does make us mentally sick. And I'm a firm believer in getting outdoors and trying to separate yourself from the modern world. It's not to say that we're running away and that we're trying to escape. It's just that we're tuning back in to the life that we've almost forgotten completely. All right, so no joke, in between, I don't know if that will pick that up on the camera, but in between being right outside this patch of woods here of evergreens and coming into the woods, that there's actually a pair of great horned owls that nest back in these woods. But the most interesting and most impactful and most important reason of why I'm actually out here is because, well, I enjoy it. I love it, right? We don't have to have a scientific reason, but one of the scientific reasons that validates why I'm out here is because the NK killer cells, the anti-cancer proteins that are NK killer cells, this is an integral part of your immune system, they were elevated by 51% in the forest group. If that's not a good enough reason to get out here, then I don't know what is. So I'm going to go for a walk and I'll take you with me. Something that's really interesting, another fascinating piece of research that I came across found that uh, participants, subjects, patients, whoever you want to call them, who just looked, they didn't have to be there. I believe they may have been sitting in a comfy recliner chair all warm and cozy, who knows, but that just looking at nature was enough to give the similar benefit that we talked about just a minute ago. What's happening is you're actually reducing the blood flow to the prefrontal cortex. Now what that's going to do is it's going to free up sort of your RAM. If you have a thousand things that you're trying to get done, your to-do list is too big, you're overscheduled, you never say no, or you're just socially isolated, you don't have any sort of family, you don't have friends, you don't have any sort of connectedness physically to the world, then you're more likely to be depressed and more likely to ruminate. there's gonna come a point in time in your life where there's a bridge that you have to cross. And whether that's you quitting a job that you hate, I just spoke with a client yesterday, for example, we talk about all of her health symptoms, we talk about her diet, her diet's perfect. And we find out that she absolutely hates her job on a scale of one to 10, I said, she said 10. It's a tough situation, but you know that if you stay doing what you're doing, you're gonna stay miserable and you're not gonna be happy with your existence, you're gonna to have to cross the bridge. And when you get to the other side, if you realize, hey, that didn't work, hey, this wasn't the right thing, this isn't making me any happier, at least you've tried it. Einstein himself said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It just doesn't happen. So let's cross the bridge together right this second. All right. <laughs> All right, so that's it for our field trip together. I hope you've enjoyed it. And next time you catch yourself ruminating or you just have a minute to do so, schedule yourself some time. Block it out on your calendar if you have to. But I promise each time you visit the outdoors, whatever type of nature you have, if it's the desert, fine. If it's the beach, that's great too. Whatever you have available, use it. And I promise you're gonna come out a better person. This is Evan Brand. Take care, bye-bye.
I forgot to tell you, as soon as I was walking on that path towards the bridge, I saw about seven or eight deer in the woods, but I didn't get it on camera, so you'll just have to believe me.